Hello guys, in this tutorial, we are going to see Scala's abstract class, Traits, Trait Mixins. Let's see what the Scala abstract class does. Yeah, uh, Scala abstract class is declared with the abstract keyword before the class with the class name which we have declared. Uh, you can see this, we have I have declared a class animal. Before that, I need to declare that class as an abstract class, so I have declared added one abstract keyword before the class. Uh, using this abstract keyword, uh, we can uh, we can define a uh, abstract class. Uh, in the abstract class, you can uh, give both abstract methods and non-abstract methods. Uh, by this way, you can achieve abstraction. Uh, abst by abstraction, we, uh, we can hide complex implementation and details and only show uh, functionality to the user. Which means like I can uh, define whatever method uh, needed in an abstract class and extends the extends it with a normal class and show it to the user, which I have shown at, uh, in an example like uh, I have declared an class animal as run in 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 the class lion I have extended it uh, I have extended it. And then uh, I am changing the uh, and showing it to, to the user whatever needs to be shown. In Scala, we can achieve as abstract abstraction by uh, both uh, abstract class and trait. Uh, let's uh, work out these examples. Uh, okay, uh, I am declaring one abstract class over here. And, and try to extend the same class. I have declared one class in that I am going to declare like I uh, extend the same function. Hello, forest king. Yes, I am creating the object for the client class. I am saving it. Let's try run it out and check how does it work. It clearly shows that uh, the abstract class which we have written has clearly extended uh, into our class and, uh, and it has overwritten. By this way, we can achieve abstraction in Scala. Let's see other examples. In this, uh, what we have, what I have done is I have declared the constructors variables in abstract methods. We can uh, in abstract class we can also declare abstract uh, variables methods and constructors too. Let's see how they are, how this works. In the starting tutorial, I said that we can declare a constructor by uh, by defining an object over here. We have successfully defined
ओके लेट्स सी द टॉप स्टार्ट मेथड्स वेरिएबल इज एक्सेसिबल ओवर दिस सब क्लास क्लियरलीयर Let's see, right? Let's run this program and see what it shows. It it has successfully printed a hello uh, forest king variable uh, variable as hundred. Okay, it has printed it uh, successfully, but uh, it doesn't uh, extends or prints the Dev for asking because we haven't uh, haven't extended or overridden this method in our subclass non-abstract method. These are abstract variables. This is how we can uh, define or call a class which has a constructor, uh, variables, and abstract methods. Let's see other thing. Uh, this abst uh, these abstract classes or uh, you know, if people have uh, studied uh, Java, it is similar to those uh, abstract classes. Let's see the next uh, next topic as traits. Uh, scalar traits is uh, similar to interfaces in Java, which is like a uh, partial implementation. Uh, a trait is a collection of uh, both uh, abstract and uh, non-abstract methods. You can create a uh, trait by uh, using a trait keyword. Before uh, trait keyword and the trait name in the scope of the uh, operator which you are going to define with it. A variable that is uh, de declared either using var or var keyword in trait get in internally implemented in the class that implements the trait, which means uh, the class which you are e e going to extend from the trait will automatically inherit uh, the variables which we have declared in traits. Which is similar to interfaces. Traits uh, are usually compiled as a Java interfaces. Uh, since uh, we have a same JVM running for both Scala, so it, uh, usually these traits are converted into interfaces. Let's see an example for this one. You can see uh, see this uh, uh, trait. Uh, trait in that one I have uh, declared one uh, abstract class and I am extending that trait in ordinary uh, class and I am defining this one the creating object for that one let's see an example instead of this one I am giving this trait Trait doesn't have any uh, any constructors. Let's 
saving it and let's try what it shows. You can see this, uh, it has uh, correctly inherited from the interface, uh, which, mean interface which means traits in Scala. Let's see the next example. If a, uh, in this one, if a class extends a trait but does not implement the members declared in the trait, it must be declared abstract. What it shows, uh, says it like, uh, if I'm creating an interface, uh, interface or which means traits in a, in a class which has a method as print. In this, uh, in this, if uh, if this method is not wholly implemented in the class which you are extending it, you need to define that class as an abstract class, which means uh, the it, it is extending partially from its uh, interface uh, from its uh, trait. Let's try this example. Okay. Yes, it clearly shows that client needs to be abstract since method method print in trait animal of type unit is not defined which means uh, it shows that uh, the def print method which I have declared in a trait is not extended uh, extended or uh, defined properly in the subclass which I have extended trait animal so it shows that we need to give abstract keyword before this class Then class line is abstract, cannot be instantiated. It shows that uh, the object which I have created cannot be instantiated because uh, we cannot create an object for abstract class. Yeah, in here, what I have done is I have extended with an abstract class. Then I have created a class name comes so that I can extend the abstract class which I have defined as lion. Then I am creating an object for this comes and accessing this both print and and run method over here. I am using this override method to override the diff, uh, diff method which I have declared before. Let's see what if this override is not there. It will throw an error. Override method run in class lion of type unit. Method run needs override modifier. It shows that we need to override these things. Save it. Run it. shows that uh, we have uh, successfully overridden the run method in uh, abstract class. Let's see other example. In this, uh, what it shows like uh, if, a if a class is uh, implements uh, multiple traits, uh, uh, multiple traits um, it will extend the first trait uh, class, abstract class with the keyword is used to extend the rest of the traits. Uh, you can achieve multiple inheritance using traits. Uh, what I uh, have done in this program is like I have declared the two traits in this. I am extending uh, with 
uh, extending the A6 class with the printable trait with the showable trait, which means I am extending a, a multiple trait, uh, multiple traits in a single class. Let's see how is one works. Let's create the nozzle for this class. Save it. Run it. It, show, it shows that uh, the class which we have extended, uh, extended is successfully uh, run. See what if we have given this biology, this process, this uh, animal to the next. Is the same thing, uh, there is no difference between shifting those tricks. Uh, in this, uh, the next thing is uh, you can also define a method in trait like an abstract class. Uh, what it shows that uh, we, uh, we can define a method in a trait like as, uh, like as we declared in an abstract class. Uh, we can uh, define both. Uh, both abstract methods and non-abstract methods. The only difference between the abstract class and the tra uh, trait is that we cannot uh, declare a constructor in a uh, in trait. But apart from that, we can have multiple traits to extend. Let's see for the the system. Next thing we are going to see is the trait mixing. Trait mixing means uh, you can extend any number of traits with a class or abstract class. You can extend only traits or combination of traits and class or traits and abstract class. It is necessary to maintain orders of mixing, otherwise compiler throws an error. What it shows is, uh, let's say, uh, let's, uh, the example will be uh, good to explain this concept. Uh, what it shows is, uh, I am declaring one trait. The next thing is, uh, I am de declaring one abstract class. If you are going to extend both the trait and abstract class in your class, you need to maintain one order. Uh, like, 
the trait should be at the first one and uh, the abstract art should be with uh, above with this keyboard uh, let's see how this one is doing You can show that uh, class biology needs to be a tray to be mixed in. It's cause uh, we need to maintain an order so that uh, compiler will know that uh, the, this the thing which we have extensed is an abstract class. So we give this abstract class over here. And yeah, show this the error has gone. Uh, this one. We got the output. This is how trade makes in uh, answer. If you are if you are going to extend both uh, abstract class and the trades, you need to uh, you need to uh, extend the abstract class first, and then you need to uh, uh, extend the trade which you have defined along with the abstract class. This is known as trade mixing in Scala. Uh, in this example, uh, it shows that uh, we have to maintain the same order in uh, while de uh, defining uh, defining a uh, trade mixes. That's it. Uh, nothing uh, different from this. It's the same thing. Uh, thank you.